When I found out I was one of the TR35 this year, it, I felt an extreme sense of, of being honored to be included in that group of people. What we try to do is, is dive in and really understand the fundamental physics behind a problem to give us insight so we can create a technology that yields high performance at a much lower cost than what you could get in the developed world. And we're doing this over and over in projects related to irrigation, water purification, prosthetics, and agriculture. I think my whole career got kicked off with the Leverage Freedom Chair. The key reason why, why the Leverage Freedom Chair is a viable technology is because it is so simple and so cheap. And the way we were able to do that is the person riding the chair is the most complex part of the machine. The constraints imposed by developing countries actually are a catalyst for innovation. I can't ever follow a recipe. You know, we have to think of things anew. And that's very exciting.